Alright guys, are you ready to join me on an underwater adventure? This is Deluvion. And we... Oh, this classical music. It is quite transcendent right now. Now, my name ain't Swashbuckler. We be Baron. Well, I don't want any capitals. What do you think I am? Some kind of gypsy. Baron von Barnacle with a K, because why not? Let us begin this quest. So we're going to watch the introduction here. This is Deluvion. We managed the crew of a submarine. Hello, my child. Come and sit with me. Now, just remember, you're not my child. I will not be sending you checks in the mail. I'd like to tell you a story, one that I used to read to your mother oh so long ago when she was about your age. So this is what, my grandfather? Or grandmother? Who am I to choose gender? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, the art style. Once, long ago, before the waters of the world closed up around humanity, the earth was covered in dry land, as vast as the ocean is deep. This is like what, in the times of Noah? Submarines? What sorcery is this? Oh, this music. It's just glorious. Come on. Ooh. No child went without food, the people were happy, and their world contained wonders and technology that we see only glimpses of in the relics left to us today. So I think earlier I thought that the, there was land, now there's not much. However, there was darkness within the hearts of man. Oh my, look at this beast. Look at that creature. There was a group who, being not content with the miracles they possessed, sought to dominate others, and soon war broke out across the world. Look at all these swords just piercing Earth. Mother Earth and blood is flowing forth. What are these, asteroids or missiles? Or just... As punishment for their sins, the gods sent down the Calamity, which wiped out the land-dwelling animals and sunk the Earth deep beneath the waves. This is quite the introduction. The music is... Oh my. People are sinking, and either they're farting a lot or just all the oxygen is leaving their bodies. One of the two. One's a little more likely than the others, after all. But all was not lost. For Baron von Barnacle had a submarine. Now, anything that is nautical-themed, I am going to be a pirate. The last god who believed that mankind should be given a second chance hid a gift in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. Looks like a giant crystal. And she said to mankind, whoever reaches the end of this endless corridor and brings back my gift, if he or she be deserving, will usher in a new era for humanity. I made up the last part. I didn't read it fast enough. And this is why adventurers seek out the endless corridor, through, though they do not know what it holds, but whether it be treasure or knowledge or power down there, or a giant barnacle, the life we know will be irrevocably changed when it is discovered. Well, put me in the game, coach. All right, so what type of ship do we want? We've got the Glacium Mark VI Diamond, known for being one of the fastest subs in the sea. The Glacium VI is a high-tech drill-propelled sub built by the ICER Engineering Guilds. These subs get to their destination quickly and maneuver gracefully along the way. While not built for combat, they have enough armament to keep would-be attackers at bay. Then there's the Iron Minnow. This one sounds like a warship. A dweller-built sub composed of an amalgam of parts welded together to create a sturdy beast. These subs specialize in salvage, having a larger inventory than any other class of subs in the entire ocean. They have a nice balance of defense, speed, and offense. So this one is well-rounded. And the Mariana, the latest in a line of combat specialized subs out of House Spirios Engineering Works. The Mariana is a hardy, combat-ready ship. And unlike the Glacium 6 or the Iron Minnow, actually includes a torpedo tube. The Mariana has a rear turret configuration tuned for defense rather than offense, but can hold its own in battle. Because of its heavier armaments, it's slower than the other class of subs. I mean, let's be honest. At first, I was thinking I like speed. See, <laughs> this is always the case. I like speed. I also like the idea of being able to carry more 
But I like the idea of survivability the most. We are going to go with a Mariana. I mean, it's got a torpedo tube, and if you watch my other channel, you know that whenever it comes to a ship game, I love torpedoes. It is one of my favorite weapon systems. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is our sub. Use WS to change throttle. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna go... All ahead slow. Why, why is my rudder automatically turning to the right? Hold W to maintain course. Oh, W. Okay. Yeah, look, look, the rudder, the rudder just... This rudder system... Oh my god, is that, is that ice? Depth is minus 15. We're, we're, we're just going down. Teach me how to do this. Teach me how to Douglas. Dude, this this place is beautiful. We're gonna go slow. I don't I don't know how to raise my ship. Maybe I have to look up that way, and we'll go that way. Let's see. Minus twenty two depth. Yeah, I guess where we're looking is where we're gonna try to go. We are going through these strange uh, sea plants. This is. There should be a way to. What are you, you know, I, I believe we deal with ballast, right? What is this? Okay, so the white dot in the middle indicates... Oh, oh, here we go. There we go! We're gonna go... Are we gonna try to go... Oh, oh, oh! We're going the wrong way, so we're gonna rotate around real quick. Wow, this thing can dive, dive, dive. So right now it's Q and... Oh. What does that button do? Where's the way through this? Alright. We are going to increase. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna go through here. All ahead f slow. Actually, all ahead half. The this is okay. The view is a little bit interesting. It, it will take... One of your crew members wants to talk to you. Press V to view the inside of your submarine. Alright, so this, this is J Treadwasser. A bar. Okay. What should we do, Jay? We've been out here looking for salvage all day and haven't had any luck. Let's stop at the bar and regroup over some hard grog. Now, I believe grog is a mix of water and rum. Correct me if I'm wrong to all the pirates. The dive bar. <laughs> Head to the nearby bar for resting grog. Alright, uh... Where is the nearby bar, then? Oh my god, this is beautiful. Uh, aye aye, adjusting engine output. Navigation part one. The golden fish are said to flock to those striving for a goal. Use them to navigate to your destination. Well, that makes it easy. Okay, so we followed these golden fish. What is that creature? That's a submarine. That looks like the drill class. What was it? A, a something mark six, yes? Some structures can be docked with get close and use R. Now can we come in? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, that makes it easy. All we do is press R and, and some kind of a grappling hook comes out. Press M to view current quests. Okay, look at the dive bar. We are in a submersible structure right now. What would you call it? It's not a submarine, it's a, a sub base. All right, well, where, which one am I? Press V to exit interior view. I want to see what this looks. J beckons you to stay until you figure out a plan to move forward. Okay, well. Let's just start with everybody. You, sir. Oh, that's me. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, right click to kind of move out. Uh-huh. Hey, you got a sec? Daniel Eriton. Sorry, no autographs today. Whoa, dude. Uh -huh. What are you, some kind of special dude? Lapsed adventure, why do you come here? The owner here brews his own grog. We don't ask what goes in it. Interesting, let's ask this old salty sailor. We got some two guys in uniform, a thirsty patron. What's going on? The grog here's so bad, I may as well be drinking me own piss. <laughs> come to think of it, I did drink my own piss once. 
Won an engine in the deal. What? Bartender. What do you have to drink around here? Is me. We've seaweed gin and the last of the grog. Which it'll be? Oh, I thought... I wanted to order some... Oh, here's Jay. I've been thinking it's time to expand the crew. Don't get me wrong. What do I have to do to get a decent drink in this dump? Oh, here we go. Pay your tab, you scoundrel. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know I'm good for it. Alright, so I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna pay this guy's tab. Your scrap can's falling apart, boy. There's wrecks on the seafloor that are more reliable than your ship. Do you not look out your portholes, man? I got me a brand new sub, courtesy of Hasley. Find out more about Hasley. All right, we will we will do that. Press M. Oh, look, there's there's other things to interact with. There's a picture. Oh, this is oh, okay. Air tank. Your crew needs this to breathe. This is a Fleck, a simple to use low damage bolt cannon. And then my inventory, I've got food and scrap metal and loot. Take all. Yeah, we're gonna take all the loot. Used as ammunition in most cannons, often used in the creation of new submarines. Scrap metal. Fantastic. Alright, so we, we got that just from looking at this picture. I wonder if there's anything else. Oh, Jay, Jay, you're insatiable. What, what do you want me to do? I click on this guy? Uh, who's Hasley? He's a loon with too much time on his hands. I don't see any difference on the sub. Besides the name. Man, what would you know? You can't even read. Hasley's a genius. No. A legendary mechanic. And the sub that he made is going to get me all the way down to a thousand meters. No sweat, bro. I'll get you to a thousand meters, alright, but not alive. Oh. Okay. Well, we asked that guy. What's going on? Okay, well... This guy looks... Can you tell me more about Hasley? John Hasley's part of the Vehicle Engineering Guild, dude. If you can get him to help you, he'll get you down to a thousand meters, give or take a catfish's whisker. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Before I forget, can you find Hasley near Tonisburg? Just remember you owe me one, bro. Oh, and the name's Daniel Aaron. Nice to meet you, dude. A thousand meters. If you're looking to get a new sub anyway, being able to die that far would be an added bonus. Don't forget, we can only go down to 200 meters at the moment. Oh my goodness. And we're going to need a crew. Why don't you see if anyone here is looking for a job? I've already asked everybody here, and they're talking about drinking their own piss. This guy is probably the only crew member. Look at that. I, I literally asked everybody. Now, what, Daniel Ayrton? Is there anything, like, hidden here? Oh. Why do you want to get it down a thousand meters? I'm going to be the first captain to reach the bottom of the ocean and grab whatever lies down there, dude. Could be a giant monster or maybe Godzilla, I don't know. I'll be remembered throughout history and everyone will know my name, just like the great Jason Fleet. Oh. Dude, I haven't even heard of Jason Fleet, so you've been warned. Is there a colored... Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. If I have to uh -huh. click on this man again... Now what? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, Jack. Seems like the best of it is over. Sure, I'll hop on your junker, so long as you keep me fed. Oh. Deal. Oh wow, look at his stats. Pretty, pretty bollocks. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's someone in here every other week saying the same thing. Treasure this, treasure that. In my day, we had dreams beat out of us, and we were glad for what we were given. Wow. Well, you, sir, are not welcome to be part of my crew. You just hired a sailor. Sailors repair your ship over time and can man any of the active stations on your ship. Okay, well... Oh my god, look at this station. That is gorgeous. Okay. So, we are going to press C to toggle your compass. Oh my! Look at this! This is beautiful. There's submarines... What kind of submarine is that? There's fish. Okay, so how do I find a new objective? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you, t why are you flipping that way, bruh? Um, there's no goldfish. Uh, resume? Alright, first sailor. No map for zone. 
Okay. There's no map, so let's just go and explore the deeps. We've got a new crew member of this submarine. We're gonna get up to half. I think that this is gonna be kind of forgiving. Game saved. Wow. The green fish did come out. Uh, I, I don't have an objective. I'm, aye aye, adjusting engine output. Put that sailor to use. All right, we're gonna go full stop. We're gonna go in here. Okay, so this is the inside of our ship. Uh, press V to exit. What is this? What are these? Look, here's our engine. There's nobody in any of the rooms. All right, we're gonna go back. Oh, here we go. There's J. Okay, Helm Station. We've got one person there. Do where am I? I mean, oh, what do you think? The ship is well. It's a ship for sure. Where are you from? Born and raised up over in Fingerdal. The place just ain't the same anymore. All the refugees coming in. Well, are, where are they coming from? Oh. I, I need to... Alright, I think maybe I just do this. What what kind of room is that? This, yeah, I need, I need a little bit more information here, please. Look at that gold. Is that my gold disappearing? Hmm. This is... Honestly... Uh, put that sailor to use. Well, you're gonna have to tell me how to do it. Okay, here we go. What should we do with the new guy? Leave him in the crew quarters and he'll repair any damage. But personally, I'd like him in my helm. Whoa. Okay. The spherical chambers in your ships are stations. Each one controls a certain aspect of the submarine. Click on the helm station to add a sailor. Use the station levers to add or remove quickly. Okay. Wonder how many and then is he gonna get up? I don't see him. He's not sleeping anymore. Alright guys, so we are going to head west. Let's see if we're gonna we're gonna talk to them. Where do I go? We can take this passage west all the way to Tonus Fjord. Okay. So let's see, we're gonna break out the compass. Was it C? And then west is this way, okay. So anyway guys, what do you what do you think of the game so far? The game's saving. Oh, we just hit something. Wow. So wait a minute. For a minute there I couldn't go full speed. That was interesting. Put that sailor to use. Well, we've already tried this. All right guys, so we're heading west to Tonus Fjord. We're going to crew this submarine. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see the next episode. And I will see you there, guys. Two videos a day. See you in the next video.